Hey, James Watson here, PA Tour and Pro, Table Rock Lake. We're a little early, but we're coming here in September for a PAA, PAA event. And I found me a nice bass worked up right here on the bed. I'm gonna use my old power poles because they're so handy. Flip over here and see if we can catch this old bass. Might take a minute on this one. It's about a three pound fish. I'd say by the judge of things. And I lost sight of him. But he won't leave the bed. And he keeps coming back. We even got up real shallow on him. And he stayed right there. So uh, definitely a catchable bass. Again, don't know which direction I have to catch him from. And he seems very interested in what I'm doing by making him mad. Yep. That fish, I'm going to have to make mad a little bit. And the best thing to do when you know you got one that's catchable like that, see how he's sitting on the bed, where he keeps coming back to. And then you bring your lure up to him and just bump him with it. Boy, he'll spin around real quick and engulf your bait a lot of times. I use a short tube so you don't give them, you don't give them very much of a bait or profile to link up with. So I don't like to use a real big bait until I have to throw up there numerous times uh, and bounce it real hard I'll go with a little bit bigger bait but this particular tube is a two and three quarter tube made by Lucky Strike for Bass Pro and it's just white color matters to me because I can see white color doesn't matter to the bass he's just mad because it's there and invading his territory I like the drop shot because sometimes your sinker would get hung up like that and you can sit there and jiggle it in front of them and really upset them. This bass was acting right a while ago and now he's acting a little bit different. This little fish is going to take me a little longer to catch than I expected. Let's try another bait. Another thing about bed fishing is don't get wrapped around the axle about one bait. Is try a tube, you try one of these uh, big bite war mouths too and I like to just skin hook mine like that again they're going to come up there and react on it not particularly hungry you want them to open their mouth so you don't foul hook them sometimes other smaller bass that come running around they get distracted and take off and then they come back He's just acting funny now. Let me try that again. Come on, this way, swim this way. I'm not judging him well. I've been working this bass with various lures and finally got him upset enough and he finally opened his mouth and turned face the bank. And now I just put on open big old punch skirt like I was down in Florida or something and I'm violently bouncing this lure at him towards his face and getting a reaction out of him and he cooled off just a little bit but he's been watching my bait come out right at his face and he's getting very upset sometimes the faster the better too oh open his mouth again thought he had it that time you got to be quick when you're bouncing them hard though. If you see them open their mouth, you better jerk because they are not going to swim around with it. Now, I'll pick up my drop shot. See if this makes him mad or not. Seems like he likes that bigger bait. Bounce violently at him than, than a subtle little uh, bed stealer or egg stealer type bait. He's acting all crazy again. I mean, I'm constantly, you see I got baits laid out everywhere here. Constantly just seeing what, it, what lure it will take to get him to open his mouth. I don't know what he's doing now. He's got some little fish swimming around is aggravating him. Now he's distracted from me. 
All right, now he's back in position. Okay, now he's mad again. Ah, why is this fast being so difficult? Ah, he's really upset. He's really upset now. Shouldn't have jerked. Okay, he's going to eat it now. I've never flipped a punch skirt. Such a big bait on a bed before, but it really worked yesterday. That's aggravating. Are you bored yet? I don't like it when he gets off on this side. He just Right there. Stay right there. There he is. Oh, this guy keeps throwing this giant lure. Yeah, a lot of people uh, when bed fishing, they were fin finessing it uh, really slow, subtle. Throw it up there. Uh, maybe they're reading a the fish different than I am. But I take a different approach to bed fishing, especially with the fish I'm, like this one that's not leaving is I rapid fire him like a machine gun with numerous baits so that he's not getting wrapped up about one bait. Wait for him to position himself. Instead of letting it sit there on a soaker like a finesse guy would on bed, I throw it up there many, many times, bring it by his face, bump him with it if I can, see which direction he reacts the best. So every time I know, for instance, his nose is pointing in that direction, my best opportunity is to throw that bait up there and power fish it right back at his face as fast as I can. Oh, dang it. He actually went a foot to get it that time. I noticed something too, when that bass gets on a particular spot of that nest, and it's always, this particular bass is always over here It'd be on the southeast quarter of his bed from if north is directly that way. If he's on the southeast quarter of his bed and his nose is that way, he's bit. Any other way, I've not got him to react. So I kind of push him around and herd him around uh, to get back in that position. Now the riffle's going to mess me up. I can't see. All right, he's in the right spot now. See if we can get him a bite. Something run him off. Got some. Every once in a while, a big shadow run by and he gets all oh, distracted. Focus on me, bass. Focus on me. It's all about me today. What's he doing? I can't get my dang boat to sit down like it was. It's pissing me off now. Golly. I feel like it's so easy to just waste your whole day. running off. Missed opportunities. Had him hooked. All right now folks, I'm just gonna stay here till midnight. I'm gonna go get my wheat light out. If I have to on all my old coon hunting gear catch this bass if that's what it takes. I'm now officially upset. I'm gonna put Velcro on the outside of my bait so maybe to stick to their teeth like peanut butter does my, the roof of my mouth.
There he is. Got him. Good one. <laughs> Finally. And you see, swallowed her now. Look at that. Yeah, I got you. Good three pound fish. That's what it's all about, bed fishing. <laughs> you better be patient, that's all I can say. This is James Watson coming from Table Rock, Missouri, right here where the bass are on the beds.